Good morning, everybody. Well, it's morning right now when I'm recording this, but whatever it is, they are good. Whatever it is there. Um. So yeah, I haven't been recording these things for a while because it was summer holiday. I mean, I don't know if it's uh, obvious or not to the people watching the YouTube video, but I am like at least three shades darker than the last video. I would hope so. I would think so. But yeah, like my skin range goes from bam to bam, like like freaking seven, ten shades apart. I can be so fair that it's like, you know, it would be like, I would be like prettier in Asia. And all I need to do is just not go to this, like underneath the sun for like a few weeks. You know what I mean? They prefer white skin over there. I honestly, I don't think I've had this tanned skin for well I have like lately just because the my, like my boyfriend he loves me getting tan I mean he is American so y'all Americans love it love getting tanned well anyone anyone else but the Asian country loves it, it uh getting tanned I think I mean I assume <laughs> because there's just so many of those um, tanning creams and brought like um, those bronzing stuff like that. Honestly, when I was growing up, it was not getting promoted because no one wanted to get darker. It's all about whitening. It's all about, you know, whitening on your underarm, whitening on your, uh, your teeth. Well, that's like regular stuff, I guess. But okay, whitening literally every part of your body okay i don't know why also underarms like there's some type of fetish there like with filipinos that have uh like this fetish of having white underarms like no matter what skin tone you are they just think like your armpit should be white okay and if you shave and shit you know like oh god forbid if you shave you're gonna have dark armpits but then if you have hair there it's grown so it's like they put this like really impossible bar for Filipino women and go like, okay, now jump that. For, for real though. Just because it's like, we are majority tan, like tan. I mean, if you think of a Filipino, you think of a tan girl, right? I mean, but somehow like lighter skin get more privilege. It's like, okay, the more you don't look like your race, the better we'll treat you. How about that? Okay, we're a team though, right? And it's like, oh, Filipino won, won something. And it's like a, like first place on something. And it's like, it's amazing. And we all actually like get together. But then you just see like some bitches like, like commenting something else to derail like the media's attention or just like saying something, something snarky. But then again, there's people like that in every country in the world. So, who am I kidding? It's just another form, another version, I guess. This topic is getting a little too deep. All I wanted to talk about was like how hard it is to freaking find makeup for me, but it went all the way there. I mean, I guess everything else in TV right now, on TV right now, like it's just gonna go towards that anyways, right? So, now vlogs also. Vlog, podcast, whatever. 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 <sighs> yeah, I just can't seem to remember my thoughts most of the days just because there's so many days and every day has been kind of similar. Uh, just finished summer holidays, like summer holidays as in like, because my boyfriend is a teacher, so. Um, so it's like, Obviously, summer holiday, pretty great for him. But for me, it's like I'm wa I'm working from home because I'm a graphic designer, you know, and, and so I will still need to get times out of my day to work, and it was a juggle, but it was nice. It was a nice break slash not break, just because like 
I kind of was just in the middle of both, you know? I don't know. Nowadays, I feel like I can't relax. Even if it's like, oh, we're gonna go relax now. I feel like even in a massage, I'll be tensed up. Just because I'm like thinking of something or my mind would be like, why aren't you thinking of something? There's something you, you should be worried about right now. And then you're just like, no, there isn't. But then it's like, there is. It's just telling you, there is. And I'm like, mm, what is it? Because I can't remember. You know, that's what I, my first original thought. Like, I cannot remember anything. Like, but if I really think about it, maybe I can. You know, it's just I don't want to right now. Maybe because I haven't been hanging out with anyone else. But, like, and even if I do, I'm not really a talker. You know, I just feel like uh, um, I'm very bad at the, you know, uh, replying and like, oh, you, you answer me now. Like, I think it's because I got traumatized with this one time. I tried to open up and be a nicer person and it got, I got like shit, shit on the face. And I was just like, why did I even try? And I just never ask more. Like, I just don't want to ask additional things just because like, oh, this person probably doesn't even want to talk to me. She probably just said hi just because like to be nice. Like that's my thought now forever. Just because of that one time, like in Bible study, I said hi to a girl well, she said hi and she, she asked me, um, I mean, no, no, I asked her what grade is she, she told me and I told her my grade and then like, and then she was like, I didn't ask you. And I was just like, okay, cool. I just did not know what to say at that point. I'm just like, when you meet someone like that, I'm, I, it forces me to think like shit, is there gonna be more like that? Or I'm just like, I don't want to deal with that shit. That's so awkward. It's like a person that you never met and is like showing you hastiness that way. Or maybe they, but now, you know, now that I think about it, you know, with more perspectives and like, obviously that's a long time ago and this person is actually like a real cool person now. And obviously like we were children, but we were like in this teen Bible study. So it's just like long time ago. And yeah, I just can't make that big like make that the reason why i'm so scared right like i gotta ask more questions i gotta be more nosy but that's the thing i don't want to be nosy like i know that sometimes when people ask me too much questions no actually people can ask me questions i i'm an open book like even times where i'm not like i'm not comfortable in talking about it i would still talk about it just because it's like oh you're interested you're interested in like something i, I want to say cool <laughs> and i would just but there's times i would just like ramble i mean obviously if you've heard me talk like in this podcast you know that i ramble a lot i just that's me also when i'm like compositioning you know in, in uh, um english class like trying to write something, not only English class, but Chinese class too. Like my, 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 my teacher would just like tell me like, you're off topic here, but then you went back on topic here and made a conclusion. And so it just shows you how much like, I just bullshit, you know, for the words then afterwards. Conclusion, go back to the first thing. <laughs> and that's what I do most of the time. One thing. I learned ugh, many things I've learned over these months. It's been like a few months since I've done one of these, you know, self-reflect. But yeah, that's what, so I move my hands a lot when I talk and I used to think it was just like in front of the camera because I'm like uncomfortable, but I do that in front of people too, apparently. Like, <clears throat> that's what Tyler, my, my brother, he like said that to me and I was like, shit, seriously? Then me, I went to the nail shop with one of my girlfriends and when I, she was sitting beside me and so we started talking and the guy had to literally like beg me, please don't move your hand. Because he was like painting it and I'm just like, 
oh my god, girl, like, I'm like, I, I, I could not stop moving it. I could not. It's like, <sighs> I think it's because I know, like, people would say, oh, it's Italian. But since I'm not Italian, I'm half Sri Lankan, half Filipino, I pretty sure it's like the I guess you know in India, Sri Lanka, they they do move their hands a lot. Like my dad would talk about we'd always do this hand, like it's like a twist with the with the hand palm thing, like what? <laughs> you know, you say what? I think I remember it would go. And then with your neck a little bit moving. What? That is. Uh, what are you talking about in. In that body language of. Sri Lankan slash Indian. See, that's the thing also with Sri Lankan slash Indians. Like. Look so much alike. And. Well obviously very different countries. But. You know. It's just. I know saying Sri Lanka might like people not might not know what it is so it's like ugh. I feel like my whole life has just always been that like first I live in Macau oh where's Macau it's right beside Hong Kong it's like oops I almost dropped my phone so get this well people people from Macau would totally understand what I'm talking about here but you know when people that are not from around there would be just like hey where are you from I'm from Macau oh where's that it's right by China but it's not China oh really not China you know what by Hong Kong just like Hong Kong like a special administ um special administration region or whatever then they're already like oh oh hong kong i know hong kong then yeah end of story then there's also like me saying like oh i'm half i'm i'm half filipino half sri lanka like it's like okay i cannot say i'm blah 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 i cannot even say i'm macanese like i'm not from macau you know i'm not I was born there and so I'm not, but I'm not a resident, you know, um, but I mean, I guess technically I'm a resident there if you don't count res like immigration statuses. <laughs> I was born there and, and I lived my whole life there, but because, you know, they have this special law where only if you, your parents has of the residency, like the kids can have like just because you were born there doesn't mean you can be a resident there. It's just a small ass city. That's why. But anyways, y that. So I kind of say I'm Macanese, first off, even though I live there my whole life and speak the language and whatever. Um, I can't say I'm Filipino because technically I'm just half and I don't speak the language and I've never lived in Philippines for more than three months. Yeah, I've lived there for three months that one time that I had to wait for my employee card in Macau like I have to like pretend that I'm a foreign and then go back to Macau so that's one like another thing and then afterwards I could say I'm half you know and then I will say I'm half Sri Lanka and then I, I also don't know languages of that even worse like I can't even understand because Filipino at least you know, I could understand some words because my mom did scold me a lot and some words did stick. Or, you know, my Filipino friends have, like, uh, spoken around me that I've heard and that's why I learned. But anyway, so half Filipino, half, half Sri Lankan, but it's hard to be like, oh, yeah, I can prove it because I can speak it. No, can't even prove it. So I'm here speaking like an American and they're like, oh, you sound like you're from America. <laughs> I know, right? The movies. Just watching the movies and everything like that. You know. So it's not like I can be, oh, cut the conversation short and just lie that I'm from America, somewhere in America. Because they're going to ask you questions and you're going to, and I'm going to be like, uh, uh, oh shit, I don't know any cities 
in that state or I don't know any streets in that state or something like that or that's not how you say it or some something like that just I guess you could say this is culture shock a little bit for me but or maybe it's just a personality shock just because it's like I thought I wasn't you know I thought I was like very secure with who I am I am it's just so, it's such a difficult thing to to explain to people especially if it's just going to be a small talk like with an uber driver or something you know like i don't want to be talking too much about my life but it's like it's hard not to just because it's like oh i'm actually not gonna feel pee now it's like oh what's like what's the situation there like a muslim and a filipino like filipinos are usually catholic so it's like what's going on there i don't know or maybe i'm just thinking too much that's that's one thing too. I think I did think too much because mostly people that like want to chat with you or something, they really just want to talk about themselves, right? I mean, like I would listen all day just because I don't know how to say no or I don't know how to like, you know, just, I just think rejection is mean. And I guess, I mean, it, it is in most people's eyes, right? But what if, like, you really don't want to talk? Then, damn, don't be the mean one. But yeah, that's like, I'm just like thinking out loud, like, damn. You know, like, I just can't figure out my life. And also, I don't know what name to use. You know, like people would like look at my name, like it's Fatima, Fatima, or like they're like, oh, how do you pronounce it? I'm like, whatever you want. It's like, and they're like, oh, I wouldn't pronounce it right. And I'm just like, what is the right way? I grew up in freaking Macau. Okay, they call me Fatima or Fatima. You know, I only use my birth name Fatima for. For Chinese, like for Chinese speakers in Macau, because they have the Chinese word for Lady Fatima, so it's like you know they can say Fatima or Fatima, like without having to think, oh, how do you say that word? Because they have trouble. Like a lot of people um, in Macau doesn't know how to speak English that well, like the local Chinese students, and so it's just like when I was growing up. I just use that name, Fatima. It literally, like, if you want to direct translate each word of that is flower, floor, horse, or a or a word that sounds like horse, but is another word. But yeah, if 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 I use the horse word, then it would actually have meaning. So it's like flower, floor, horse. You're a flower, floor, floor horse. Thick. But yeah, um. That's my first name, and yeah, that's why it's just hard for me to be like, ah, uh, I need to choose one right now, Fatima or Fatima. Which one should I use? You know, I mean, I'm really confused on that. I should, I, I should like make a poll, even though I don't have much followers. Like, I just need like some type of, you know, push towards one choice. Fatima or Fatima or something else like because my friends back home call me Pajella and like Tyler and Tyler's friends call me Pa that's a cute name but yeah so what about strangers Fatima or Fatima like I get because Pajella is just is my is a nickname and my friends call me that and it's just like it will make me miss home I feel like just because that name is just if someone says Pajella, Pajella like I'm just like who the fuck is that? It's probably someone from Macau. Like I don't miss home. It's just because Macau is such a unique ass place, you know. Like, well, I guess everyone will say that about their like hometown, right? Just because like you grew up with everybody else there and everything just is home. You can like literally walk anywhere and find food you like cheap food especially those fish balls in like those very 
they ask curry sauce oh, so fucking even like 7-eleven uh noodles with sumai and fish balls like i would freak i would be so fat if i go over there like to just visit but now they made it so impossible to get in that place because of covid i mean because it's such a small place that if there's even one case of covid they're gonna like they freak out but they're they're doing a great job of like protecting i think there's a breakout like um a few days ago like a few cases now but you know they've been doing good but man to go into that country like to that city you gotta you gotta um quarantine for 28 days then after that you gotta go to a medical facility for at least 10 days for them to observe you or something like that that's like more than my tourist visa yeah because i i will be a tourist going back there now even though i freaking grew up there i keep saying that like a broken record like i'm like bitter about it but i swear i let it go already you know i'm in america now I already have a green card after freaking working here for a good amount of time and bam green card you know, it's like, but in Macau, it's just so different. And it is a small ass, but it's, it's just different. And it's China, like under China. <laughs> Anyways, but I miss home. I do miss Macau. Just head out for the internet. But I also like wish like I could just like transport everybody here too just because it's like I know they're gonna have so much fun here in South Florida. South Florida's pretty sick. You know the beaches are beautiful. Oh, you know how much I want to like uh, just transport my friends over right here so we can play beach volleyball. Like, come on. That's that's embarrassing. Yeah, I just wish I could transport all my friends and family over here and just have a good time especially on the beach like we could play beach volleyball you can like rent out these golf carts where like you can just go and blast out music around like downtown just there's so much you know we could do I know that uh, just I I know growing up like I needed to hang out with my friends like a lot or at least like people that I think that were my friends like back then just because like I just I just knew I would want to just go all out whenever I can just because I know that if one day I'm gonna settle down or one day just find I don't know some peace of, prefer some peace and quiet that I know thinking back hey there's times where I almost fucking died from a hangover you know type, type situation it doesn't always have to be like drinking and stuff. I get it, but it's just like, hey, if I ended up with friends that like that like to do that, and I'm like, and I like to do that, why not, right? I never drank alone per se, so I wouldn't say that I had a problem, but I did drink a lot. Now I don't drink anything, but well, I barely do. But I do like like the fact that I have memories and even a lot of story archives of just. You know, of just me having fun with my friends. That's, um, yeah. All right, guys. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome day today. And yeah, like help me figure out Fatima or Fatima. Like, which one sounds better? Which one, like, I can actually pull off okay thanks goodbye